This video is brought to you by Astapro. More on them after the reaction, peeps. What is happening there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are going to watch the dose of the Rebel Moon today. Even though I feel like not a lot of people are going to be watching this video, we are going to still deliver the best we can deliver for y'all today. I probably should have watched a recap of what I happened should, in the I last movie. Too. <laughs> you don't remember? It's seared into my brain, G. Are you good? I'm so good, man. King Zack is back and I'm ready to give scars to anyone who doesn't love this movie. Yeah, strike down that like button, people. Also subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when a reaction is up for something that piques your interest. Thanks to prepper for the turnaround on this video heavily appreciate all who have been joining our patreon page showing your support to the reject nation as we get the full length reaction watch along where you sync up with your own copy of rebel moon john and i cover several things over there exclusively with highlights and watch alongs included john i am so ready i can't wait Kind of sounds like she's singing "God Saves America." God, this, that's Saves what it's about. America. <laughs> Snyder is a patriot, if nothing else. On the far edges of the mother world's reach, circling the gas giant Mara, was the small moon of Velt. Cool. Felt. A village of humble farmers lived a simple life, born of the earth. They were good farmers. Until the shadow of a warship fell upon their field. Oh, until a title card fell upon their field. The ship's commander demanded more than Velt's people could give. So it was that a woman named Cora and a man named Guna set forth <laughs> from the village to gather warriors to stand against the dreadnought. Dude, he's giving us the recap for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Hopkins. <laughs> In the minds of Dagus, the fierce nemesis. In the Colosseum of Pollux, the wayward general Titus. Yes, these are the characters. Cora triumphed over Admiral Noble, leaving his shattered body on the rocky coastline. But this is the whole last movie. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> to collect their pay, the threat of a dreadnought extinguished. Okay. Ready. Or so they believe. Oh, no. Love a good transition like that. He is alive. He is. But he's far from recovered. Oh, damn. Hmm. I do like the aesthetics a lot. Christ is risen. This looks like some Resident Evil shit. I would have just put my hand in his mouth. <laughs> 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 Kathy, yes. Only well, seems intact. Kathy has listened to me. She's on fact. Hmm. Who? Who? The Scar Giver. The Scar Giver. Oh! Did you write the movie? I did. <laughs> She's on felt. Set calls for felt. Well, we were worried he might not be himself, but he is exactly himself. <laughs> this is almost as if nothing happened at all to him. Although this has to be a harsh trade from the tentacles we know my man enjoys on his free time. The Scar Giver is a cool name. Imagine being labeled that. Oh my god. I think it's a cool name. But is it cooler than Child of Fire? Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Objective. If you encounter this person, you'll be scarred. That's cool. God. Props to the production designs all around, from the futuristic to the super rural. Can't beautiful. overlook it, man. No, it's really great. And I do love the music a lot. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes, I remember you. Pr Princess-ish. Yes. <laughs> Princess clone look-alike lady girl. We have prepared food and drink for you in the longhouse. Damn, that is an epic beard, my man. <laughs> <laughs> let's bring these Yurakis to the stable. Yes, let's. In the R-rated cut, there's a lot more violence in that exchange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do they look? Strong. Like warriors, I guess. How many of them? Six. With Cora and Gunnar. We're saved. <laughs> it won't matter how strong they are, will it? Oh. Zack Snyder was like, I don't like a typical ring. I want this rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, that, 
<laughs> we audition <laughs> thousands of ring patterns. Ensure that the harvest is brought in as planned and ready for our arrival in five days' time. The countdown begins. I read a whole breakdown about the logic of the grain and how many soldiers it can feed. <laughs> hmm. I won't get into that now. I feel like it would be very compelling. It was compelling, actually, although not in the way I think that would help the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. His face is a screensaver. Beautiful. When's Zach going to make a video game? Just make a video game. Now please, eat. We must all be very hungry. Wow, you guys prepared a feast. But where is everyone? Oh, oh. A lot of you, if you were not uh, capable of standing to protect your own home, if you had to ask others to lay down their lives for you. They've all buried their heads in the sand. They should see there's no shame in our being here. To swallow their pride enough to even ask for help, that is bravery itself. I remember you. Me too, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one I remember the most. <laughs> Admiral Noble is dead. Really? He doesn't believe it. Ah, he's dead. <laughs> we can still eat the food, though, right? <laughs> they will return. I don't. You're wrong. I just received word. They'll be here in five days. Oh, God, can you imagine that feeling? Yeah. You instill someone with so much fucking joy. <laughs> then immediately it's it's like, comes in. hey, you won the lottery. What? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit, wait, never mind. Oh, what the hell, man? This is worse than before. I have a feeling of loss that I didn't have before. <laughs> <laughs> we failed. <laughs> But death is not always deterrent enough for the designers of the mother world. There must be more in need of this grain than we could have known. Are you like the only planet that makes grain? Call your villagers. Let me talk to them. Does this army subsist on carbs alone? Dark days lie ahead of us all. Ain't that the truth? When the time comes, we may all have to stand together. Yes. As brothers. Of course. The brotherhood. We will teach you how to fight. But first, you must show us your strength. Everybody get your plows. How long does it take to bring in your crop? Half a cycle around Mara. No, it must be done in three days time. <laughs> okay, so I guess half a cycle around Mara is longer than three days. It's at least four days. <laughs> <laughs> if we bring it in fast, we can use it both as bartering tool and shield. Jamon Hansu is such an underrated actor. I know. He brings so much to everything, even when his character is as slight as it's been so far. <laughs> Look at him. I don't know. That endeared me to him way more than the last movie already. That's more dialogue. Than good leadership movie. talk. You got me. I just hope they all have the courage to stand and fight. I had no idea what it would be like to fight. But now I love it. How much it would scare me. Scare giver. <laughs> I didn't even think about dying in the moment. If you would have asked me before how I feel, I would have said I'd be petrified. And I was scared. It's gotta be crazy not to be scared. The most afraid I've ever been in my life. What was it you were so afraid of? Losing you. If it wasn't that. It was you. Hmm. Love is powerful force in the universe. Is this happened in the last movie? Um, is this a first time kiss? You, there was so much romantic chemistry last time. Okay. Oh, that that I mean, is a beautiful that, last shot. Yeah, that's romantic. Holy shit! <laughs> that's a great shot. Bam. Oh. And the R-rated cut. It's <laughs> <laughs> a 15-minute scene hey, between that shot and this one. <laughs> About you being the most wanted criminal in the known universe. It's so hot. You remember how I told you I was raised by Belisarius, region of the Imperium? Oh, that Belisarius. Good, recap. <laughs> and that you were a decorated warrior, friend of the royal family. Good. <laughs> this is crazy. This is actually really helping me. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so torn. They, they got for the exposition. The healing influence of his daughter as a king had begun to see many things in a different light. Oh, let's go. Are you going to travel through another space v portal? In accordance with tradition, the king would dedicate every ship, but not this time. Uh-oh. This would be the princess's first royal duty, her first oh. official act. All right, let's go. Christen that ship. The ship would be named Peacemaker and bear her royal seal. And you couldn't see it. I was the loyal daughter of my adopted father. I could not betray him or defy him. That is a cool slow-mo shot. Mm -hmm. He had told me the princess must die, and die she would. Woof. Oh, that's right, Carrie Elwes. King Carrie. My father said he would not stand by and watch this child dismantle the war machine we sacrificed so much for. But of course. Oh, they're actually playing music. Huh. 
That's cool. Whoa. Illuminati hoods over here. It's a good thing this quartet's playing the exact music to fit the dreary, <laughs> ominous, suspicious mood. Some upbeat jig. <laughs> Something's wrong. Bolisarius, where is the Carly? Why, why aren't the furnaces lit? What? I am talking to you. Answer me, man! Answer me, man! See how charged up? Spallosaurus does not have the greatest looking beard. No. <laughs> Makeup beards are hard, man. Damn. Beware the Ides of March. Jesus! They're even playing faster music. <laughs> <laughs> What's our cue? How do we see the cue? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, damn. Wear this crown of thorns. Ooh. Do it. What are you waiting for? Uh oh. What are you waiting for, child? Do it. Why don't you just do it? Yeah, dude. I forgive you. Oh wow. Don't. Don't. Whoa. It's something divine. Okay. Destroyed the light. Yo, this quartet's on point. Yeah. They even knew when to stop. They're the best in the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? What? I followed orders, bro. Dog. What the fuck? What? There she is, gentlemen. The assassin of the royal family. Wow. You're a... Wow, there's a lot of people in on this. <laughs> See? No matter how much you do for the space Nazis, you'll never be one of them. the only one with a gun? I guess. <laughs> that is a cool-ass gun, though. I will say, there's a lot more emotion. Yeah. Some good intensity. Cool. Ooh. And I like how gooey their plasma blasts are. I fought my way to the shuttle. That quartet should be in every scene. They should. <laughs> <laughs> Always in the background. <laughs> it could be, like, good in improv. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow, with the last words of the child... Her forgiveness. I felt the only way to honor her was to run. And forgive everyone I met after that. I don't know if I was in bed with this one. I'd be like, she killed a child. <laughs> <laughs> At least on, <laughs> on first impact, I'd be taken aback. <laughs> More than a weapon. It's what we're all trying to be. What you are. Sophia Boutel is a very strong actor, I think. Yeah, I think she photographs wonderfully, too. I like her uh, body language and demeanor a lot. She's a dancer. <laughs> Let's get to farming. This is cool, but can we get the quartet back? <laughs> there should be a choir falling in the morning. <laughs> I don't understand why this. The grain. The grain. Don't do not do that. You need that. You need the grain. Ooh. Planet Earth. It's the most <laughs> badass farming sequence I have ever seen. You know, I, I'm kind of here for it. I'm okay with that. <laughs> It does enhance that sort of like the grain is life kind of quality. Whoa. Got him overalls and a hat. Commander, I have the chief medical technician. Put him through. I don't understand why Ed's screen would be worse than this guy. Yeah. Why do you stand there staring at me? Cowards! Because you died technically, so. Welcome back, sir. Are you ready to assume your command? Gross. Ugh. Now tell these idiots to release me. Idiots. There are protocols before you can be cleared to resume command. Tests that need to be conducted to see if you are mentally and physically strong. Wowie. Let me help you with your evaluation. <laughs> okay, so that's why he would be worse. Yeah. He's got he's super all, strength. He's roided out. Ugh. Not gonna lie, I don't feel like you needed a gun. Nah, could have crushed him with your bare hand. Admiral, my apologies for the scar that was left. He looks like that that drawing with the oh oh with the, with all the body. You know what I'm saying? What's that? The 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 Da Vinci, Da yeah. Vinci's perfect man. Anatomy, yeah. yeah, Matt and Anatomy, yeah. Which I'm sure was an inspiration here. 
When I deliver her to Belisarius and her body is displayed in the rotunda of the Senate, I shall bear my chest. Cool. And it will stand as a symbol that it is I who brought to justice the scar giver. As it is I that stands before my people as a savior. And then he's like kind of clothed. Like there's been a lot of Jesus things. Like he's he got fancies a halo himself around his like, head right now. Yeah. Yeah, he fancies himself like a Jesus figure, mm. but he's not. Whoa. Yeah, slow mo. Get it, man. Yes. This is, this is required slow mo. <laughs> <laughs> I want all grain sequences in slow motion. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is kind of hilarious. I'm so torn. This is low-key really funny. It's a meme, but also, like, I, I like the vibe. I, I love the slow-mo, usually. Yeah. <laughs> like I think farming? two sequences of slow-mo grain farming is a bit much. The first one was good enough. Lose that hand, kid. Oh. oh. Whip out your lightsabers. This great frame with the stock over her eye. Oh. Ah, oh, you're a softie at heart. Kill spider ladies all you want. You're a softie. It's like Jamon Hans is getting like so much more screen time. I know. It's as if they realized they had a world class <laughs> actor and they used him <laughs> first time. I mean, I know we said this in the last first half hour, but so far, you know, this is breathing more than I expect. Oh, it's breathing. They've even <laughs> slowed down the farming sequence for us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is true. Like, unless you're like super into farming, it's a rather boring, tedious task. Yeah. And Zack Snyder's doing the best he can to make it <laughs> make as it visually look interesting as possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because this is just regular farming. Yeah. It's not like it's not even high tech farming. futuristic yeah. farming. They don't have like a laser shucker or something. It just got that picture forks and sights. And if the villagers have held up their end, maybe some mercy is in order. These dogs deserve nothing but our boot. Is that right? He questions everything. We'll see when the job is done. For the slain king. For the slain king. It is a really interesting piece of context. Mm -hmm. It makes the, the world of our Nazis much more interesting. Knowing yeah. the truth, it does. The skull give us among them. I kind of feel like that context would have been really good for the first movie, honestly. <laughs> yes, agree. <laughs> it's like they have an actual cause beyond just pure villainy. <laughs> but, the, but the cause is like ingrained in the lie. Yeah. Wow. I want Zack Snyder to do a baking show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you took your Furiosa makeup off. Oh. I could lead a simple life here. Yeah, you found your people. I want to give you these small gifts I've made. I know you all come from places much richer and more sophisticated than here, so I hope my gifts don't insult you with their simplicity. Oh. But I have made them with gratitude. It's the thought that counts. When I first saw you all oh, ride into our village, I felt like General Titus was like the mountains themselves. Thank you. Love his little cabbie hat. Tarak, your spirit is untamable. Like that hippogriff. <laughs> but your nobility is undeniable, like the snow elk. Hey. These are very thoughtful gifts. Yeah. I could steal this idea. Yeah. I drew you an elk. <laughs> <laughs> you reminded me of its magic. Elias, who shines as the sun upon our faces, warming us and bringing us comfort, steadfast and true. Aw. Learning their character traits. Nemesis, fierce as a storm with its flashes of lightning, but with its life-giving rain. Heh. <laughs> that is the source of life. It's a little poetry. Damn. She learned all this about their quality? Just by watching them shuck some grain. <laughs> Gunnar, you are our heart. Aww. You give us hope. I like this scene a lot, actually. There's a subtle emotionality happening for everybody that I like a lot. I buy the gratitude on all of these guys. And Cora, <laughs> you are our guardian wolf with bare teeth. No. Oh. You stand between us and annihilation. Jeez, no pressure. Oh, that's pleasant. But no, I mean, if you did get those gifts, you would probably care a lot more to help these people out. I am. Knowing the significance you they have now placed on you, the meaning. Oh. Like it makes it purpose driven at this I moment. 
Yeah, it solidifies the bond. <laughs> well, that's often my favorite part of these kinds of sci-fi operas and stuff is like the cultural bits and pieces they make up. Again, show us that move again, ready? Oh. I will say, as much as Gunnar and Cora did not think they had any chemistry in the last movie for this shit. <laughs> I think it works better here. Yes. To make them to get to put them together. Agreed. I actually think it helps to add some investment. Do they both yeah. have qualities that they could meet in the middle with? Mama Hotel. Oh, cool. I love songs in a made up language. That's cool. Did this in, with Aquaman. Yeah. Is this a made-up language? It must be. Comment below, linguists. I don't know. I'm not cultural enough. I like this stuff. I'll watch him sing for another hour. <laughs> and my man's up here just observing. Join them. There is something so compelling about this character. Yeah. There's like not much to it, but every you cut to him, you're like, I don't know why I'm really drawn to you. <laughs> and he doesn't even like have to be talking or anything. Yeah. It's just like a gravitas about his presence. You can feel there's like a gentleness still too. Yeah. yeah. And a thoughtful, observant nature. This feels like it's Jimon Hansu's movie. I know. It's <laughs> yeah. so strange. I, I mean, I'm here I'm for it again. I way like, prefer it, yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. Again, now we're in a territory where it's like it's it's the movie's game to lose. You're winning me back, Rebel Moon. <laughs> Today we begin the preparation for our defense. We start by moving the grain into the village so that they can't shoot us from orbit without risking its destruction. That is smart. That is a great strategy. Now the weapons left behind by the Imperium will help us hold our ground. Oh, training montage. Gather and account for every hunting rifle. Every knife. That's a knife. Every round of ammunition in the village. Ooh. This kid loves hanging out with her. I know. He's going to be riding on her back by the end. Wait. Tuck your elbow. Huh? Both eyes open. Awful. That's what they teach you at Terran Tactical. We have turned your harvesting tools into weapons. So what we're gonna try and do is Ooh yeah. Let's go, Gunner. Gunnar. Live up to your name. Yeah. Everyone's good. And everyone's good right away. Ooh. Snyder Everyone. knows where to place the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's good. Yeah. Everyone's a natural. <laughs> Wowie. I mean, it's hard to miss with that. Yeah. Just vaporize that scarecrow. Yeah, this is badass music. I, I remember being on the farm part of the first movie and liking that the most. Yes. <laughs> so I feel like <laughs> that this is working for me more. Yeah. That might be the key. Because if it's the, only, it's the only part of this franchise that brings out humanity and you, yeah. you need an emotional connection in some way. Absolutely. Yeah. How long has that been here? Two seasons. Because, yeah, when you're back in space, it's just all about like, ah, you know, our conquest and we're mad. <laughs> Now we sweat and working together, we could pull it out. It could be a powerful ass. Yeah, sure. And, Man's here. and so far they have, yeah, this guy photographs so well. It's uh, just something so compelling. Ever the observer. It's like the first one we did, the mag it's the Magnificent Seven plot, right? It, it, the Son of Samurai plot. Yeah. You recruit to help out the small town. But that one, I feel like I got lost. <laughs> This is like, yeah, this is the simple part of the last half of September. Yeah, <laughs> so, that yeah. so it feels like really focused. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's like, I don't even miss that we're not cutting away to the, you know, mother world every five minutes or whatever. Hang on. Cool. Although I do feel like these villagers are all really great at fighting. They are great at fighting. I mean, you know, it's all just one swift motion. Tuck your elbow in. That's all shooting is. Just tuck <laughs> your elbow. <laughs> 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 
we, we did it. Why is that special? What happened? The, the ship flies, I guess. <laughs> Listen, I've never been one for making confessions. Uh oh. So I'm not going to now. <laughs> <laughs> Resume. <laughs> you're all here because I want you to know who the hell you're fighting with. Everyone must share the truth. Uh -oh. Character development. Yes, give us some core wounds, baby. I'll go first. Sarah Wu. Okay, I'm on board. Are we going to see it? Yes, good. The Regent Balisarius has sent me and my ship as a show of force to hover above the parliament of Sarah Wu. Whoa. So the choice of whether or not to vote for independence from the realm would be obvious. Okay. Brave people of that world defiantly voted for freedom. And in answer, I was ordered to open fire on the capital. Jesus. I refused, and my ship was shut down. Uh, you can relate with Korra. I knew my men would fight with me to the death, so I struck a deal. My men's lives for the surrender of my own. Damn, that's noble. Begged for mercy from the regent to spare them. But mercy is not known to the regent Belisarius. Oh, damn. They killed all of them except me. Oh, that's wow. tragic. Wow. My men were executed before my eyes. The decision to defy Balisarius had been mine alone. Not a day passes that I don't think of those men. That's a horrifying shot. Yeah. How my surrender betrayed their courage and condemned them to their fate. Never again. Love how it completely makes a different change in color palette. Yeah. You should understand that today before you choose to follow me tomorrow. I mean, that only gives me more reason to have confidence in you and your loyalty. I've uh, never fought in a battle like the one that's coming, but I was raised in a place that was much like this. So she has found a new home. Mm -hmm. When the ships appeared in the sky above my world, I looked to my tribal elders for how we would respond. They cowered, submitting and giving them everything because they were too scared to fight. They said, what can we do against the might of the mother world? Fair question. Those who were too weak or too old to work were killed. I killed them. The rest of us were scattered to labor camps, families torn apart. It, it was as if my people never Whoa. existed. Jesus. She had hair. <laughs> Character development. First she had the Furiosa makeup. Now she's got the Immortan Joe mask. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gotta get her one more Mad Max motif to complete the trifecta. Ooh, wow, nice. Is that, is that in camera? Oh, nice. That's, That's really cool. cool. Yeah. The only light coming from violence. Ray! He's back in a flashback. How is eight extremely beautiful shot? Damn. Yeah. The way they did all that, that was extremely beautiful. Fly over, I yeah. family who showed me another way. So when the time comes, I'll give my life to protect this village if need be. Blood axe. Cora, I want you to share your entire story, and I want to see all the same visuals again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> nah, that's just saving money. I had a life before, long before, it seems. Did she have a kid? Oh, she had a kid. Oh, that's a good call. I have no idea. Though. We were a little fishing village. The Imperium troops slaughtered everything and everyone. Look, they all have a unity, a common cause here. So long and thanks for all the fish. Their tragedy gives them strength. So she did have a kid. We were peaceful people. Oh. But we hadn't always been. Once, long ago, we were a people of war. I had never killed before, never spilled blood. Whoa. Until I spilt my own. Whoa. <laughs> that was a great cut. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> that was a great cut. Damn. Just the right moment. My pain Ooh. became rage. And my rage became revenge. Rage venge. But the bloodlust of my ancestors that lived in those ancient gauntlets. My blood awakened them. Ooh. They showed me how to fight and i was reborn hell yeah since that day i've been a creature of revenge even though those are basically lightsabers i do like the super heated quality well it does just like like hot they, they, metal they, <laughs> lightsabers are laser swords and this act those feel like actual, actual blades yeah they're just super heated yeah. yeah none of us get to choose our parents 
Uh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Mine happened to be a king and queen. You had a king and queen? Wow, Nepo, baby. My father, the king, insisted on presenting our terms to the armies of the mother world himself. So he just comes from like a Harry Potter world. <laughs> 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 With the promise of invasion. Oh no, Gandalf the White. My mother told me then, boy doesn't become a man until his father this, died. This looks like out of the Fantastic Beast world. <laughs> yes, it does. Was a king. <laughs> oh, Dumbledore, no. That's the last time I cried. The Tear Giver. Soon after, their ships darkened our skies. I can't not see it now. If Fantastic Beast was just in the future instead of the past. My mother, for honor's sake, she would not run. I wanted to stay to protect her, but uh, the queen knew to preserve. Whoa. The bloodline and the throne. That's crazy. This is a version of running. If she's about to do what I think she's gonna do. I lost my mother and my world that day. Oh man. Wow. wow. That that is a nightmare. The scope is, is great. She went went down with her city. I ran for duty's sake for the preservation of a kingdom and a bloodline that no longer exists. You can carry it on. Impregnate this village. Yes, <laughs> repopulate <laughs> your royalty. Cora, we haven't heard from you. Whoa. What is your story? I am a war orphan. Oh my god, they're gonna do it. They're gonna tell the whole thing. A orphan. The discipline of a military life suited me. I served on a ship very much like the king's gaze. The king's gaze. Never having a family, I believed I'd find one. That is until I arrived here on Velt. This place taught me what a home and family could really be. This is like the best place. Anything else you'd like to add? I feel like you left out a lot of the story. <laughs> yep. We all got very specific. <laughs> Gunner, we, would you like to fill in some We links? painted a really good picture for you. <laughs> <laughs> we had flashbacks and cutaways and everything. For several days now, Titus pretends to drink because he doesn't want us to know how much he cares about the coming battle. No. You son of a bitch. I thought this was alcohol. <laughs> Old stories can be hard to give up. Yes, they can. To the scar give up. Thank you for coming to this village. I don't know what will come of all of us by in the day tomorrow. I can only pray that your pasts will burden you less. All right, you know what, guys? I'll say it. I'll fucking say it. I think this, we're an hour in almost, and this is so much better than this the is last way better. <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think everything else, everything is so much better. Uh, the only thing that could definitely be improved is the dialogue. Sure. <laughs> the sure, dialogue sure. itself could use a lot of improvement. <laughs> but outside of the dialogue, even the beats, the outline, <laughs> the scenes they choose, the mood, the acting, the mood, the atmosphere, yeah, the scope, every, everything yeah. is better. This is so much more engaging. <laughs> mm. Now let's see if it maintains this goodwill. <laughs> It's been a minute since we've cut back to space. I don't feel like we need to cut back to these guys. I don't either. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like it makes it more like scary if you, you just keep them, like the anticipation of them arriving. Yeah, so that when they finally get there, it is sort of out of nowhere. You can yeah. take us by surprise, yeah. Like, I actually believe them as a group dynamic now. Yeah, I mean, they have actual character and, and the way they've built the, the team bonds, both in the core unit as well as the way they have to give their, you know, expertise to the people. Like, yeah, it ties it all together really nicely. Oh my god, Cora found the back cave. She really did. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Keaton's in here somewhere. You want to get nuts? <laughs> Let's go pick some nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Slow boat <laughs> montage. Yeah, yeah. I'm here for it. <laughs> oh, Wendigo. No, Wendigo. <laughs> you know, the last person who called me that was the old commander of the Mechanicus Militarium as he died in my arm. Damn. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. I like the way it sounds. It does sound cool. I was given memories of a world I will never see. Loyalty to a king I cannot serve. Huh. And love for a child I could not save. You are an orphan in the universe. That's awful. But the sound of that name, as you say it, lets me feel, even in the smallest way, why I exist at all. Thank you for saying that name. <laughs> 
Is that why you saved Sam? I know only that the thought of her being hurt or destroyed opened a part of me that had been closed. Hmm. You're choosing a side, James. Yeah. You and I are alike, designed to kill for them. Now we kill for ourselves. Their nightmare is you and I fighting together. Not because we're ordered or commanded, but to defend something we love. Stand against tyranny, boy. You better join the ranks. They'll probably do some, like, third you act showing up in battle kind of shit. Win. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's running away, so. You cannot win. I feel uh, like sorry, the trope bro. with him will be like, oh, he comes in in the finale. Yeah. And he's like the ultimate kick-asser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he'll come in right yeah. when it looks like all is lost. Yeah. And he'll have an army of robots with him. Yeah. <laughs> all set. Right They're early. Time. They're here. I want to see the suggestive space portal again. Freeze up, freeze up, run, 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 run. Everybody act frantic. Find your positions. <laughs> These are the new formations. It's the grain. We will go against the grain. So they pile it against the building so we can't destroy them. Clever. Hmm. Certainly not the plans of a farm. Seems General Titus hasn't drunk away his roots just yet. I mean, there's definitely farming involved. Thermal imaging shows clusters of people in the long house at the top of the village. No doubt they're women and children. Damn, this is a scary ass advantage I got. Yeah. I can just like thermal scan the entire place. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> every nook and cranny. While I negotiate, we'll dispatch the Cryptaea to capture the women and children. We'll land a small contingent of armor, but we won't need it when they see blades at the throat of their most vulnerable. How does this have a worse rating than the first one this is so much i think this is so much better we're halfway through and i feel like if it was gonna lose its mojo it would have happened by it would have happened by now yeah it's like you can do a lot in a first half hour and then lose it <laughs> but like i don't know well, i think I'd it moves along even better too it feels like a real movie <laughs> <laughs> not like some weird half remembered <laughs> montage <laughs> Oh, the haircutting sequence. Wow. They are really prepared to take on these farmers. Let's go, Armored Corps. See, this is good. Like, I'm watching this going. I don't know how you would defeat these guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially after you, all you do is shoot scarecrows. I get how you could make a statement and rob them of a little <laughs> grain. But, like, yeah, how are you ever going to triumph? This is good. Yeah. I got a little bit of tension in my in my chest. Okay, everyone inside now! Come on, everybody. Let's go, quick, come on! Quick. Oh. Spooky dookie. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we used to call it when you make someone poop themselves in the haunted house. Ugh, what are they, like little s crab walkers? Crab battle! He likes his crab walkers. Yeah. This movie, while still derivative of lots of stuff, is not making me think about that anywhere near as heavily as the first one did. Like, the designs still feel kind of cool and unique. I think it's a lot of points for just being a, 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 an upgrade, <laughs> yeah. honestly. Sure. Yeah, I think it's a lot of points for being an upgrade. It's like, uh, what happens if you watch the Snyder Cut having never seen the Justice League? <laughs> <laughs> if we had only watched part two, how would we feel? <laughs> My man. Oh, she brought back her military do. You know, she wears all these haircuts quite well. I still hope she was paid less than everyone else. Yeah, as it should be. The men specifically. Where's my warm embrace? You've never given that cup of ale, you know? Aw. Not the least. Pour one out. Tell me what we're trying to achieve here. The same thing as the last time we met. I kill you. Show the chest. He is, like, sickly pale. A scar mm -hmm. from the scar giver herself. You do understand what the Regent Belisarius will give me when I bring you to your knees before him, don't you? A seat in the Senate is what you seek, I would imagine. It's what I deserve. <laughs> Take the grain you need to feed your men on your voyage back to the mother world. No more and no less. You leave the villages unharmed and report to Belisarius that the warriors you sought evaded capture. And I should take nothing, yes? <laughs> you take your lives. This is your choice. Live or die. Disgrace and relegation. Or your head cleaved from your shoulders. Your families and all of the mother world to know that you were slaughtered by the peasants of Belt. Ooh. You know I've been tasked with bringing honor to the mother world. It's a big responsibility. I intend to see that task through to its end. Gunner, you look bored. <laughs> He's hardened by war now. You think I don't know you're hiding your women and children? As you stand here talking to me, your plan is already failing. Are those women and children? 
A different arrangement could be made. I could take the grain you offered. I could do as you asked and leave the villagers their life. Would you? There would be one cost to this concession, however. You. And that cost is you. Because every member of your band would be greatly treasured by the Imperium, but there is no denying the one most sought after by the Honorable Regent is you. <laughs> Arthur Leia's herself. <sighs> cool name. So herein lies your choice. Arthur Leia, surrender to me. And I will permit the villagers to live. You know he won't. Yeah. However, if you refuse, those this village holds most dear, currently sheltered up in that long house, will be slaughtered by my men on the way to them now. We'll see about that. Has enough blood not been spilled in that beautiful building already? Yeah, they did all that prep for her to surrender. <laughs> <laughs> Are you truly prepared to allow this to continue in your name? It's time, Arthur Ness. I know it drives some people nuts, but I like Zack Snyder's weirdo lenses. Yeah, me too. Cora. That's a turn. What are you doing? It's a ruse. I'm gonna go and say goodbye to your friend. Your father awaits you. Coyle, look at me. Oh no. I'm sorry. I won't allow this place to die for me. I know what I'm doing. He's lying to you. Just let me go. You're lying. Ooh, I just got nipple chills. Did not expect to say that in this Unexpected reaction. Unexpected nipple chills. <laughs> I honestly didn't. No. Oh. Shit. Gunner, that's good. Oh, that's damn. Good for his arc. Oh, oh. <laughs> look on his face. <laughs> Whoa, dog. Nice. Nice. Cool. All right. All right. Now that, that is good slow mo. <laughs> every frame of painting, babe. That well earned slow mo. <laughs> we need to get you up to that ship. Come on. You're our only chance. Did you make the right choice? <laughs> Spiritually. <laughs> oh my. Super evil landing. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, they got the Batman goggles. I like the grit to a lot of this. Feels like an actual like war yeah, battle. Feels frantic and messy. Woo -hoo. Nice man. Jump on that ramp. What a great throw. Imagine if he missed. Oh damn. <laughs> I'm glad they let him say, oh, damn, instead of doing an oh, sh cutaway. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, let's All go. Right. Let's see what you're made of. <laughs> yeah. nice. nice. They have blue ones. <laughs> yeah, take that. Yeah. Take that. The people's elbow. Hidden edit behind that pillar. Ooh. It's the light and the dust and everything. Oh, damn, good shot. Ooh. That's got to feel good after what happened to you in the first movie. Taking them down yourself. Woo! I like how ruthless he is. Get the shot. No. Oh, damn. Just cold and merciless. And it just like stampedes his way through. And it's not like a full, full transformation, but something feels like even more sinister now that he's dead and back again. Let's go! Nah, man. This is a fight you can't win. <laughs> Smack him! <laughs> Whoa. Doesn't he have super strength? <laughs> they must have juiced him up. Dying and coming back is always a superpower. Oh, oh, just draw some blood, man. That's all you need. Oh! You really feel how hard his hits are. <laughs> I was about to kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> no! No, that guy! Where was his blood? It'll be in the director's cut. Yeah, yeah it's kind of hard to miss. When I give this thing, I'll start to smoke. Oh, wow. man, he's so scared. Now. Start it now. Do it now! 
She said start it now. That was like 30 <laughs> seconds ago. Come on, man. Oh, <laughs> nice focus, Rack. That ship is taking damage. I have casualties. And my instruments are not responding. Smart. That's actually really smart. <laughs> The one giant bomb now. Because I was wondering, like, well, you can see the ship. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what's the smoke doing? Yeah. yeah. Is this some kind of symbol? <laughs> trying to send a message down below. Time has come for all that you love, for your home, protect each other, and show them no mercy. Sindri. Get it, overalls guy. I would just not reload out in the open, you know? Or at least duck. <laughs> Are you ready to fight and die? But let's leave the dying to your enemies. <laughs> Good, excellent. Let's workshop that. <laughs> no more dead cops. I did expect. Oh, no, oh yeah, that's, right. that's right. That's right. Okay, yeah. Oh, come on, kid. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Nice, dude. Dude, attach a, a, a sword to your stump. Damn. Do a lot with a knife, kid. Is he in the same room watching her? What, yeah. what, where is that kid? Yeah, he's in the same room. Okay. There's that's a bunch of people back that's there. That's what it yeah. seems like, but... Well, I do like the look of blades and shit. I did expect that choreography to be a significantly cooler. <laughs> it's not good when the slow-mo of grain is more compelling than the slow-mo of lightsabers. God, he is, like, perfectly sculpted. Jesus. A true Adonis. Oh, ha, 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 nice. Damn, he's right at the front. No one can land a shot at him. You know, it's a tribute to stormtroopers. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. It's a lot of people going, oh, damn, oh, damn, uh, oh, damn, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh, she's infiltrated. She's infiltrated. Come on. Oh, no. There you go, kiddo. Oh, in the hip. Whoo. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, man. I was not expecting this for her. The mirrors are flashback. It's just like her core wound. Except this time she did help protect the village. And she saved the boy. Yeah. No. I'm actually a bit bummed. We can fix her. I like the unspoken bond that the little boy and her had. Yeah, it was a nice little visual bit of storytelling. Wow. Spartan kick. Ah, uh, this is madness. Mm. There's no way you dudes aren't making it to Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see a Hippogriff dude do some badass stuff. Like, he's been here. He's been axing people. I want, like, a good-ass hero shot on my man. <laughs> and where's the other lady? Where's Furiosa? We did it, team. Weren't there more, more ships? There's a lot more people, right? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they got these crawler things. With the tattered flag. Good shot. Ah, uh, damn it. The hell? You guys are destroying the grain. Damn, now they just gotta prove a point. Ready, break. Strange, I'm not seeing any wounds. How about that one? <laughs> Let's get the battle club off. There's a wound up here. I'm checking the pulse. Oh my god, elevator fight. I wonder if they hired real EMTs. It's very low. Wait, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'll still keep the helmet on. Yeah, dude. Like, you're the most notorious traitor to the mother world. Make your way back to our ship and have it running. We won't have long to get off this thing before it blows. Okay. What about you? Oh, my God. To have the girlfriend who would, like, fight your bone battles. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, right. As long as you show up a little bit and help, it's all peachy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should be an elevator down this hall. I got it. It's my wife currently. <laughs> Handles all my confrontations. <laughs> Woke life. Not to rile anybody, but I do like that there's all kinds of people here, and it's not, you know, distracting at all. <laughs> there she is. Hey! I'm just checking this thing. These buttons, they're buttoning. No. Yeah, the more you take off, the worse I think it is. Ah, uh, but you gotta get that Ellen Ripley vibe going. Love that it looks like a mouth drinking all this energy in. Guys, all the grain. I know, the flour. What are you doing? All that bread for your men. It is mouth drinking. Come on. Is that screen going to show up right now? Bombs right on its third eye. Oh. They're just firing nonstop. Woof. <laughs> no, this like feels like a real war zone battle. Totally. If I was watching a movie that took place in like Afghanistan or some shit, you know? Like, yeah. It's yeah. chaotic, it's a mess. But with like space battle shit, that was cool. That was good, good rocket launch shot. Yes. Whoa. You gave him zits. <laughs> Are you gonna pop those? This guy got way down the panel before realizing there was someone there. Yeah. Whoa. Nice. Damn. You ain't even holding on to nothing. We're setting back up. What is the nature and number of the intruders? There are shots fired. There are men down. Shots fired. It's a woman. What's going on? A woman has infiltrated the ship. It's bad luck, man. Can't have women on a ship. Arthur Leyes is aboard the ship. Perfect. She's come to us. Alert all sectors. I want to capture it once. You may fire on the village. Screw the grain. The grain. There's no need for the grain now. The sky giver has come to us. We can eat the principal. But we have men on the ground. A few less mouths to feed. Good business. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why aren't you a CEO, man? <laughs> Main gun. Yes, sir. Target the village. Charge the cannons. Right away, sir. Main gun. The forgotten gun brother. Tell me what the hell is going on? All available security personnel. Man, she's diehard in this ship. Yeah. Wow, yeah, nice. Ooh, let's go. Cool. Oh, there you go. There you go. Damn, he's oh. doing this all with an axe, not one gun. Yeah, man, blades, you don't got to reload. You, you just got to sharpen them. <laughs> oh. oh, there he is. There you go. No, he's about to get shot. No. I wish I knew that character's name. She's very cool. <laughs> Someone's got to get, like, on top of it. Stab it in the brain. I thought dying in battle was all I wanted. Fighting for something. I think I was wrong. I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> I don't think I want to die at all. But if I must, together. Aww. Because of the big bond they've had? <laughs> you know, <laughs> bonds are forged in the heat of battle sometimes. Giving a last stand. Yeah! My man! <laughs> Let's exciting. go! Oh, he did the trope and I didn't even see it coming. <laughs> well done. It's weird to call something and not even be thinking about it. That was cool. That's good. That's what that you want. That was really cool. Yeah. That made me happy. <laughs> oh. Come on. Oh, he's about to fuck some shit up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's he's go, do, man. Like, one of those crazy Iron Man, like, 360 lasers. Oh, this is badass. Oh, the red. Oh, righteous anger. Damn. Ooh. Oh, just fisted. Oh, let's fisted go. <laughs> Throwing hands. Ooh, you go, Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. And you know Hopkins did all the mocap for this. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Woo! 
Nice. Got the hops too. Cool shot. You really took your time coming into this battle. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Superhero that. Just had to make sure all was really lost before he came in. <laughs> he came in exactly when we said he would. Yep. And we didn't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> right at the all is lost moment. <laughs> you can do the tropes as long as you're doing them with gusto. Distract us with some good atmosphere yeah, yeah. and it works. <laughs> Cora, where are you? Oh no. Yeah, a lot of the visuals language is reminding me of what he did his camera work and stuff with like I did in Man of Steel. Oh yeah, especially with all that like American the, the wheat to like the fields of grass and stuff and all the lens flares. Oh no. He's on the ceiling. <laughs> I should have put a bowling pin sound effect there. <gasps> yes. Damn. Love a good profile shot. Yeah, let's go. Let's do a one take profile hallway shot. Yes. Whoa. Some the Black Widow thing. Owie. Huh. That's a good detail. So you can turn it off. Of course you can turn it off. Why do you think you can't turn it off? <laughs> <laughs> I just did a very think, inconvenient think, weapon to store. I didn't think it had like an on and off switch. <laughs> it just ignites with your own righteous fury. Spooky. It's like a roller coaster. Really, yeah. I don't want it to drop. Is there still time to get off? <laughs> yeah. Can I grab the bar? Get my arm ripped off. Oh, I get it, because you would need, like, a big-ass glove to operate one of these. Yeah, yeah, because it's constantly, like, little flickers of flame. And that's why she had to have the gauntlets, too, is, like... We're now finally understanding this point. <laughs> yes. You know, four hours into a movie is about the time I want things to start clicking together, you know? <laughs> I suppose I should say thanks for not accepting my offer of surrender. Arthur Leus, Arthur Leus. Make a better ballad when I slay you in battle. You've done well to get this far. Much better than I expected. Oh shit, are they like right out there? Much better than could be expected from a bunch of fucking farmers. Oh, you got the one. Yeah. Hmm? I really think we should just got in a new villain. I, I like Ed Screen and I like his performance, but uh, there's something about it just hasn't fully been working for me that he's back here. I don't feel like it's really done anything for the movie. It doesn't feel like it's leveled up as much as you would think from the last experience. Yeah. There's not as much of like a transformation. He just kind of seems the same, just sometimes he has more strength. Yeah. Your gun is charged and ready to fire. Oh. Yeah, buddy. Fire at will. Perfect timing, Cora. Oh, 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 nice. Hey. Oh, good. They hit the village over there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't like them anyway. I was going to say, are there other villages on Velt? Is it just this one valley? I guess there was that port city. Wow. It's Cora. No, that's the ship. Take her. Oh. My man. Leveling up. Oh no! Gunnar! Go, Gunnar! <laughs> Whoa. Stuff like that freaks me out just to imagine actually seeing Whoa. that. Whoa. Whoa, cool. All right. All right. Yeah. I love that. Has it always been doing that? <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> that trail? Not yeah. quite as cosmically. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a hard fight. Yeah, nice. It's like etiquette and Obi-Wan. Get the high ground! Oh, yeah! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus. Cool. Flips. That was cool. So I'm gonna assume we're gonna take care of Belisarius in a different movie, in one of the six planned sequels to this. <laughs> oh! I really like this sequence a lot. Yeah, Damn. this is cool. What an interesting environment. Like, yeah. like, as the ship's like falling, you keep sliding. That's, that's really cool. Not anti-gravity, but just changing gravity. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. 
Ouch, they look so tiny. He has really got to get off the ship. Grab a parachute. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wow. That is an ugly line. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> so many lines have been predicted. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, no way. He got the kill? Gunner. Damn, you could have easily stabbed Cora. <laughs> oh, interesting. Interesting framing. Ooh! Ouch. <laughs> okay. All oh, right. there you go. She got the kill. Yeah, he's definitely not coming back now. And the way they've handled the perspective does sell the idea that this small ramshackle crew of villagers could take down this Exactly. Yeah. Ex I was thinking that like a couple, I was waiting for a point to interject that. I'm like, I, I believed it. <laughs> Which could have easily not been the yeah. case. <laughs> yeah. This one is so much better. It's way better. This is like <laughs> vastly superior to the first one. Yippee. The irony is now our ship really does need maintenance. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, whoa. Ouch, ouch. They really should install airbags in their spaceships. Right? Damn, she is messed up. I have some actual blood in this movie, at least here and there. Kind of. It's very PG-13 blood. It's very aftermath blood. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, he is really bleeding. That's bad. Yeah. You're not even gonna let us see it. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Buddy. Oh, that's a sad line. <laughs> yeah, that got my heart right yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> I actually felt that one, damn. <laughs> We're not quite at that stage yet. <laughs> <laughs> We've only spent a handful of actual hours together. <laughs> Oh, no. They don't stop coming, damn. Oh. Oh, it's our people. It's reinforcements. I can't, I can't tell the difference. <laughs> nope. Those me. Oh. oh the, the blood axes. Target those drop ships. Yes, Commander, on you. This feels so Star Wars. Star Wars thing. Super Star Wars. Very much Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. They look like pod racers. Oh, damn. His antlers have been trimmed. Man, these two have been watching a lot of things happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're catching their breath. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Whew. Well done, VFX team. Oh. You can have that. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is he looking at us? He is. He's got a whole host of emotions running through his head and heart. It's really over. It's... Oh, damn. No. Oh, she ain't even gonna say goodbye. Ah. <laughs> at least he died looking into victory. I love you. Oh. I love you. Did a tear just come out of his eye? Yeah, a tear came out of his eye when the shot was on him. I was, my mind was going, did they CGI that? Or did they really do that? Yeah, <laughs> so, so I was like caught up in the thought of that. Hold, hold still, man. Oh, shit, the tear. <laughs> we honor them now in the only way we can. <sighs> Camera pans over the quartets right there. <laughs> when next we bring in the harvest. Couldn't they just still come back? <laughs> I feel like they would come back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the whole empire back in this endeavor. Oh. The heart of us all. The heartbreaker. <laughs> all of you honor the fallen. You honor my brother and his bravery. Yes. Do not speak of me when you speak of honor and bravery. I've lied to you, to all of you. Titus. Whoa. You know that I'm Arthur Laius, adopted daughter of the region Belisarius, and the assassin of the Princess Issa. I know your name, yes. Yes, I know all that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty famous. But you were not her assassin, for the princess is still alive. Dun, dun, dun. You thought she could be killed so easy? She's more than that. What's that tell you about death? Death ain't shit. You have a reason now, do you not? To find her and to fight? You have a franchise now. 
I will stand with you. And my axe. <laughs> you have my bow. <laughs> All of us. And I as well. I'm sitting this one out. If I can be of use. Jimmy, let's go. I do have this. You have my antlers. You wish to fight with us, Roba? I'll find this lost princess. If what you say is true and the princess lives. That's his motive. My duty. I have no choice. <laughs> it is my honor to fight. Hell yeah. To find her and to fight. Shit. <sighs> I want to see that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Will we get Rebel Mood 3? I mean, they got more streams than Barbie, so it's likely. Oh. When we leave, you guys prepare for them returning. Yes. Because <laughs> they're definitely coming back. You guys Good deal luck. with the mess that we've left you now. I'm this is to, a military plan from now I'm on. I'm ready to leave now. He said he got six more of these movies. He's the James Cameron of this universe. Oh, that's right. He is his own DP, too. Ed Screen's still alive. Well, and we got Belisarius. We got to deal with that guy and his crazy beard. Shout out to Astapro for sponsoring us. So some fun facts about me. I've been seeing an ENT the past couple of months. Got a CT scan done for my allergies, and right now I'm trying to find time to get deviated septum surgery. So like many of you, I am someone who's tried pretty much every nasal spray you can think of because I have difficulty breathing through my nose, which leads to day-to-day -day and sleeping problems on a consistent basis. So before agreeing to this, I wanted to try them out myself because this is a serious thing I deal with. They provided me with free samples. This is my second bottle. This is without a doubt the best nasal nasal spray I have ever used. That's not some talking point. That's my very own personal testimony. Genuinely, for me, it's fantastic and lives up to how it's advertised. It's the fastest 24-hour over-the-counter solution available. It gets to work in just 30 minutes while other sprays take hours to kick in. It's also the only one out there that's steroid-free for 24-hour relief. Astapro has seriously changed the game for me, offering full prescription strength relief from nasal congestion, runny nose, and sneezing. The difference this makes is phenomenal. It's kind of insane how this relief to my breathing and nostrils just kicks in and I'm back in action really fast. So if you're like me, battling with nasal allergies and looking for relief, get fast acting nasal allergy or symptom relief with Astapro. Go to astaproallergy.com for a discount so you can Astapro and go. It's faster with Astapro, bro. I saw that commercial. <laughs> Astapro, it's faster, bro. That's A-S-T-E-P-R-O allergy.com. Remember, use as directed for relief of nasal congestion, runny nose, sneezing, and itchy nose due to allergies. Thank you again, Astapro, sincerely. Well, well, well. If you guys are listening to us on Apple and Spotify, we just watch Rebel Moon uh, Part Dose. The Scar Giver. The Scar Giver. And if you did not see the reaction, you witnessed the journey. <laughs> There's a real journey there. And... Uh, I mentioned this on the Patreon intro for the watch along that essentially didn't really want to watch this movie <laughs> and to, yeah. put it, to put it as bluntly as possible for filming with John. I was like, let's just see if we can have fun with this. And we, and we said like, if, if it ends up being something that happens, you know, open us up or win us over, we'll gladly be open to it. But in right now I have like exceedingly low expectations was not really a big fan of the first one. And I thought this would just be, uh, I was like, man, it's a slog. So a slog. <laughs> I thought this would be a slog. <laughs> yeah, I really did. Yeah. And, um, my essential feeling is that I, th I think that this movie and I feel like, I feel like we're pretty much on the same page. Mm is that the movie is markedly better than the first one oh, yeah. by a lot. Uh, <laughs> and what I saw was that it's it has, day. I don't know if it has as many reviews, so that might factor in sure. to Rotten Tomatoes, but I saw that it's his lowest one. So I was like, you got to be you kidding me? Really? This, one's, this one's worse than part one. Like, you got to be kidding me. That's <laughs> what I was like, I have an attitude. Sure. And uh, I... Thought this was so much better. Uh, I, the the characters, uh, I actually felt like I I knew them. <laughs> yeah, I knew them. I found myself caring more as the plot kept going. I thought it was exceptionally focused. More, I would say. Um, I felt more of the aura, and I, I felt the tension in the last hour. 
I really grew a lot, uh, grew to like Sophia Boutella's character a lot. And <laughs> the interview was like, damn, I, I want to see part three. And mm-hmm. I did not expect that to, to have that feeling. That is the biggest surprise. Absolutely. Yeah. Cause I, yeah, I, I didn't like, sure. Are there moments? And if you watch the reaction, there are totally moments where we were like taking the piss out of the film. Sure. There, there was an, but I like, I couldn't even have fun like that in the first one, you know? It was uh, the first movie took effort, and I thought that was going to be this. Where it's like, oh, like I'm usually game for the fun of watching any new movie experience, be it good or bad. But I was expecting this to be one where I'm like, okay, I got to really like make sure I focus the energy. <laughs> yeah. And it wasn't, and it yeah, it, it it drew me in, and I was able to just kind of vibe with it. And it's just it's just so much more well rounded, and it feels like a real movie. Yeah. And so like it doesn't reinvent the wheel, and it is. You know, obviously, as well trodden from the first movie experience, you know, it's borrowing from so many things. But I think there is something to be said for the fact that if you have a movie that you allow to breathe and, you know, you have some skill in terms of, you know, your tone and your scope and everything, you know, you can. It's not about reinventing the wheel. Sometimes it's just about rolling it with grace. And the first movie, I didn't think rolled it gracefully almost at all. But this movie, you know, I wasn't thinking about all the stuff that was either derivative or, you know, uh, underdeveloped or whatever. Like this came out to something at least that felt of a piece and of itself and like it wasn't going to rely on some kind of yeah. other auxiliary r- cut or other media or something like that. Like we're, I, I wonder you need all that context, I suppose, but part of me wonders how this would play if you just watched it on its own. <laughs> I think you need some of the context as it was much easier to get on, get on board uh, right away. Yeah. And like the last movie didn't leave me with any interest in the characters. I had no interest in the characters, the world itself. I remember being like, yeah, it's pretty that that, it felt like a very I felt like empty by the end of that first movie. I didn't do anything for me that left me with any strong feelings whatsoever. It felt like a bunch of disjointed stuff. Yeah. And and it's like if you look at Rebel Moon Part One and Two, it is essentially just telling that like seven samurai story. Right. You recruit, go to help save a small village against some big overlords and part one is the recruiting movie and then part two is the actual game plan with getting involved with the village and weirdly the one that does not cut around to multiple planets and locations outside of flashbacks and but utilizing the flashbacks to develop your characters and give them some actual backstory where you can be actually interested in them I was like, oh, this is actually a lot more intriguing. And of course, there were like we made jokes throughout a lot of it, whatever. The the one thing that I thought that really could have been improved <laughs> to really just take this to a, a, a stronger level was the dialogue. I, I don't I think the dialogue we predicted so many lines. Yeah. And because the dialogue was very generic. And but that doesn't mean the movie didn't have personality. You know, (laughs) well, and sometimes you want like sometimes there's a satisfaction to knowing to anticipating what the line will be is you don't want an excess of that. You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, the first chunk of this film was, uh, you know, there was like funny stuff. I, I thought it was really funny with the string quartet. (laughs) <laughs> who was who was who was violent and along to the exact way the scene was done. I'm like, wow, this is very. It's, this, this is my slaughter. This is kind of silly. Yeah. Uh, the farming sequences and staking just basic farming and then trying to make it look super badass that was funny. <laughs> One like, was enough. Two made it funny. Yeah, yeah, like stuff that and it's funny because it's supposed to be really cool. Yeah. Uh, and so maybe we're not supposed to be laughing, but I would rather take laughing. <laughs> Over boredom, I'm or, bored out of my or mind, being yeah. annoyed, yeah, or yeah. disoriented, or in feeling a bad like way. this is tedious or some yeah, shit. Yeah, totally. yeah, I would rather take that, but then it was also consistently mixed in with shit that was actually that I personally thought uh, w- was good. I thought it got better as it went. By the time Batty show, I think like less time with the bad guys was a smarter call. Mm-hmm. By the time Batty show up at the planet. I felt the the tension of how this is all going to go down. We believed the because we were what we were commentating on was when they started showing up. I was like, "This is good because I'm here watching this, going, 
I don't know how these guys will beat them. <laughs> this, like, is like, this is <laughs> seems like literally impossible, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then they sold it. They sold the hell out of it. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, they, they sold the struggle. They sold the fight. Uh, even Cora getting into the ship. That was all. I thought that worked. Mm -hmm. uh, the fight going down when the ship is crashing. I love the way that sequence looks and the idea of it. Where they have to sword fight while you're sliding down is I yeah. thought was creative. While the orientation of the ship keeps it's, changing, it, yeah. I it surprised me. The movie surprised me. It did. And how I was actually keyword, I was entertained. In spite of yeah. flaws, kind of throughout a lot of it, I was consistently entertained. Uh yeah, I I like sure, Cora and Guy Gunner falling in love. Oh, well, all right. I guess I, I it's didn't... required to, to happen. Quite sure. Let it happen. I don't give a shit. Like, let it happen. I thought fun. it worked better for that to happen. And his death scene. Yeah. As much as I made a couple of jokes there, I was like, this is actually a good death scene. Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of good concepts and the acting goes a long way i think they they have a truly you know capable ensemble who can take the things that feel thinner or like they're pulled out of like a comic book page and they can really sell the emotionality behind that and and in the Zack Snyder universe you also have to be able to sell like the badass gravitas but yeah like that that line where she's she's crying over him and and she says that like why can't i have this one thing like that actually it's a good line actually it actually that got was, to my was, heart uh, and uh, that's about the last thing i expected yeah. from a movie i got from nipple this chills movie. with this movie yeah it I'm actually rose to some occasions it did Ed screen. Okay, I made a comment during the reaction that I was it's like, I'll just save it for the review. This other comment was, uh, I didn't feel like Ed screen needed to come back. Mm -hmm. uh, we both did. We don't really feel like because I thought like, oh, he's coming back and he's like supercharged yeah. human or some shit. And I'm like, not no, really. Just still it's mad. Like, <laughs> it was like a couple of scenes <laughs> where he yeah. showed some display of extra strength. But I thought they were going to really. turn him into the guy from Alita Battle Angel or something. <laughs> yeah, or I thought he might have been like, I, like okay, uh, Way of Water, uh, Stephen Lang. Oh, yeah. I thought Stephen Lang was more effective in Way of Water than he was in the first one. Yes. Um, and, and, Way and, more interesting. And, yeah, they, I, thought, I thought, okay, maybe we'll, they could have, they have an opportunity to maybe do something like that. Maybe not make him as like, oh, let's show a more compassionate side. But maybe actually, death has affected this guy somehow and changed and, him in some fundamental way. But it really didn't. <laughs> nope. And and then the other part of me was going, okay, but if I don't look at this as a sequel and as the second half of a longer movie, does it work better? Maybe. <laughs> no. in, in the, if the theory being that, yeah, if you look at this as one whole experience, it might seem odd to Whop in just a new guy, you know, yes. who have no association. With. I yes. thought they were going to make it so, like, oh, Belisarius is coming for us himself, which clearly they're going to leave as a, you know, as fodder yes. to get a sequel, another sequel going. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like it is appropriate to have, you know, some kind of continued conflict with him. And I like, again, his presence, you know, and I think they sold just the fury of the confrontation. But yeah, I mean, I still feel like. With all we've seen with him, and they've got him like charged up on all these cables, and we saw him in the other movie, like with tentacle creatures and shit. Like, I don't know. I, I th yeah, I still think they could have like leveled him up. But at the same time, I wonder if that might have taken something away or, or, or stolen focus from just the onslaught of the actual skirmish happening yeah. on the ground. I don't know. There's something that could be improved or, or, or better about that. I'm kind of on the fence with it because it's like I, I liked watching him, obviously. Um, but I was yeah. sort of continually flip flopping in terms of, yeah, his presence and what he's adding to the overall story. Like in terms of a story and a world, uh, other than like the aesthetically blending shit, <laughs> it, it, the movie, the world itself is nothing that unique. That, that is one of the flaws I think of the rebel moon universe as currently. You know, universe. like I like I like kind of the, you know, like like it's like a buffet of sci-fi fantasy. It's just like it's like an yeah, oblivion yeah. or one of those kinds of movies. Yeah. yeah where it's like a sci-fi salad. And the only thing I ask is, can you be entertaining? 
And and that was the main thing was I was entertained and maybe it allowed for a more entertaining experience. I was able to watch it with you and we were able to like make jokes yeah. about certain moments that maybe I might have been checking out for if I was by myself. Yeah, you know? totally. Um, so that helps. But and, and I think one thing we have to own is that so much of I think the uplift in our spirit it's due to the fact that I've just had to be miserable <laughs> and, and yeah. And just really feeling like this is so much better than the first one. Yeah. So I don't, I'm like, I don't, I don't, you're catching us in the honest immediate moment of a reaction. So I, I, I'm not going to try to like fantasize about what it would be like if I'm just on its own as a film versus, yeah, yeah. you know, not having a dour experience being left with in the last one. Right. Yeah. So, as it stands, as a part two, yeah, I thought way better. Jamon Hansu, I thought brought a lot, yeah. Cause, and that's when I noticed the script <laughs> it was because I was like, these lines are not great, but he is making me he, really enjoy he is this cooking. Scene. Yes, <laughs> yes, <know>? yes. <laughs> um, so I think uh, Jamon Hansu was a much needed elevated presence for this. Like I felt like he was Hondo just P. in the background. Yeah. Um, I like how when you actually get backstory, they would show flashbacks. That was great. And it felt appropriate to give him the biggest boost because like the ensemble as a whole, the team they've assembled does feel more distinct and ingrained in this movie. But he is clearly the sort of standout who has risen yes. to the front of that pack. And as much as there are times where you're like, I don't even know all their names quite. I don't and, know and any of their names. Still, <laughs> you, still don't know. I know Cora and Gunnar because I was like, oh, it's Gunnar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just because, yeah, because we don't want to, you know, make it too on the nose with him not being able to use guns and being called Gunnar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do think that is a missing beat with this film. Sure. That the village, like when they were training, I'm like if you're going to be the tropes movie, like... <laughs> have your village have a little bit of a struggle with learning how to get this shit down. It, it just seemed like all the only missing piece was for them to be handed weapons. Yeah. And that's all they needed to become an army. Yeah. Cause that was the one thing. I mean, it made it easier to buy into. Okay. Yeah. I guess they could put up a fight. But um, you do want that that element of worry of like, oh, my God, are, are they going to be able to they don't look yeah. in good shape, you know, on the eve of battle. What are we going to do? So, you know? I mean, uh, and, and Sophia Batella, again, I remember one of my criticisms was I don't feel like she's a star. And this movie made me go, she's a star. <laughs> like yeah. She's a star of this movie. Like, and I thought she was really good. It's amazing uh, what happens when you have a better rounded movie around you. Yeah, because I feel like this movie helped all of its elements just by virtue of the fact of being just a more breathable, more, you know, gracefully paced event than the first one, especially. Uh, I feel like that that makes everything work and that makes it so that you're not focusing as hard on the stuff that is rote or that is familiar. Zack Snyder often will say something like I made. I mean, I don't, I don't know how this I like. Did he make the movie he wanted to make? <laughs> He's making the PG-13. I, I, I still feel like this is a res, a resp I feel like the way this movie is paced and edited, I'm very curious to know if when going through the editing bay on this film cuz he obviously has like a shit ton of footage if God, some so of that was a re was was retooled in response to the way the first movie was received. I was th I was wondering that because too. I don't think he did any more photography on the film. I can't imagine he did because of the gap here. Yeah. Um, I, so I don't think that was the case, uh, but I do imagine that him behind the scenes maybe actually did some retooling because this is shorter than the last one, right? It's shorter. <laughs> it's tighter. And, uh, and it breathes yeah. more. It has more breathing. Yeah. Like you have actual moments like that, that bit where the villagers are giving them the gifts. It was like a beautiful a little scene. character culture moment that is, I think, one of the overlooked aspects of what makes a sci-fi movie like this, and especially a derivative sci-fi movie like this, work is when you build the cultures rather than just building cool machines. Agree, agree. And uh, Gunnar, it was fine. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was like it, I, I like more for what he did for Sofia Batella, uh, the long hair hippogriff guy. I, I was more interested in his world th that he was part of. Yeah, I was like, let's, let's go see that. Than him as a character. <laughs> He just kind of feels like discount Jason Momoa to me. And a I'm, bit. I'm not. I'm like it's no slight against him as a performer, but as a character, still didn't really. I liked him more here than I did in the last one. 
Uh, but I'm, the I'm, ensemble is still slight. Yes. Yeah. The girl with Furiosa makeup. Um, <laughs> again, like a good performer. Uh, I I, I liked watching. I didn't really get invested in her character. <laughs> uh, I was invested whenever she would show up, and then when she was away, I would be like, I would forget. <laughs> Yes. Um, and uh, we were talked about at screen. A lady who looks like princess uh, on planet and, and guy who defected from bad guys, oh, Asian yeah. guy, whatever. That was still, <laughs> still whatever to me. Like no, no real impact. Um, that, like Just that nice was not rounds. elevated. Yeah. Asian girl with swords. I really like her a lot. Mm-hmm. Like I think she is a great body language performer. True. And the whole thing with bonding with a kid. I I love how they chose to keep that very unspoken. Yeah. Um, I think she's strong as hell. I do think that her fight was a little lackluster in terms of mm. sword play and choreography. I'm like, it looks cool when you're like slowing shit down or whatever. I did find that choreography a little lackluster. Yeah. I, I, to, to give Child of Fire a, a little bit of a prop, I think the spider fight with her was probably more striking than this one was. Yeah. I think like they. In terms they, of both the choreography and even just the lensing of the whole thing. Might have been restraint on choreography because, I mean, I'm not expecting a full blown like martial arts. You know, it has to still be grounded because this is a war battle fight. But I still think they could have done could something. Have cool. that up a little, <laughs> yeah. Knowing Zack Snyder and yeah, knowing exactly. the uh, hearing him talk, I know how much he is motivated by what is cool. I think he could have put a little more cool there. Yes, uh, and I wouldn't have batted an eye at that. Zack Snyder um, makes Zack Snyder movies, and that's that's one thing I was very much kind of aware of now, as opposed to stuff before. Is like he has very much just like he's like one of those bands with his own sound, and he just he's just only going to do that. If he knows how to capture enough of a character who through the through body language, because he's obviously obsessed with visual imagery mm-hmm. and trying to communicate via that way, uh, he can really nail it, and it, that really comes in the form of Anthony Hopkins is Jimmy. Mm. There is something about that goddamn robot. I know. You know, like I don't know what it is exactly, but you do get these like multitude of emotions when you respond to him, and that's and again, it's like a real like, character, like a real guy. I think yeah. big credit to the movie is when we like because I, I forget when it was. I joked when he's in the cave, the back cave, and <laughs> and and I said he. Uh, like, he's probably going to throw up in like the third act, show up in the third act yeah, or something like that. And you're yeah. like, yeah, probably at the real all is lost moment. And he, and he did. And he did. <laughs> and we, but, but we were so in, into it. I was too caught up thinking like, oh, are these two about to die? Well, I think <laughs> yeah. that's indicative of the, the strength of this movie, especially versus the first. Well, he knows how to do like explosion reveals through the smoke really well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And he does that a lot There's in this movie. so many yeah. great elemental Transi- transitions. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, but but that's one of those things, too, where, where in a movie that breathes and has an actual pace to it you can just be caught up in the moment and forget like it does make me fascinated to to go back to your earlier question like you watch part one and it kind of gave me like the theatrical bvs experience in a sense where i watched and i went i can't imagine with the amount of skill Zack snyder possesses that he released this cut thinking yeah this is like how this movie should be and this is like a good cut of a of a real film just because it it, after that first half hour it just becomes this weird montage thing and it's so jagged and it's so disjointed and here you know it's like you couldn't sell a moment like that i don't think in the previous movie unless you relied on the disjointedness which isn't good to do i don't there you know isn't like an actual choice whereas here yeah it's again it's not reinventing the wheel but a moment like that i think is just indicative of how much stronger this is just as a watchable movie experience and and an experience that you actually can attach something to and get invested in somehow even if it's just in the immediate moment and like a moment like that is super gratifying yeah and i don't feel like the first movie had a moment like that kind of at all like it had some of the atmospherics it had some of the momentary imagery um but like I was happy that this movie actually like got me invested and got me like, you know, whooping a little bit and got me, you know, at least like enjoying being here. Yeah. <laughs> and and yeah, like, you know, again, you know, Zack Snyder at this point, I don't feel like he really has need to be, ch- you know, I hope he finds means of challenging himself as a filmmaker moving forward. But at the same time, he seems like he's got his niche and he likes to do that. 
Um, and this got me interested in seeing what a director's cut might look like, whereas the first movie made me never want to watch a Rebel movie yeah. ever again. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm really curious to see what this looks like when those director's cuts come out and how different they might be. Uh, because, again, like I, I don't. I, I would love to know if they recut this or they, if they altered it in any way leading up to the release of the second movie just because, again, this risk, this gamble of cutting these in half and making these PG-13 and there's art. Like, it just seems like so much it, so much mess is created by that process when you could just be making a good movie. Sure, sure. <laughs> you know, and uh, I don't know. I just hope for the... What if this does proceed as a franchise? I hope they maybe drop that part and just commit to making one good movie. Yeah, um, because it is a little exasperating having you know this weird dance with Zack Snyder stuff where you got to watch every movie like five different times and yeah. there's like no definitive cut until there's finally like ten cuts down the line. You know, it, it's it's wild, but at the same time, uh, this at least didn't leave me with the feeling of like, man, we're putting all our resources into this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, overall, uh, market improvement. Uh, we do got to get out of here. I do think, uh, you know, all the same carryover stuff from the technical side, visuals. I think visuals are really good here. Great. And the music by Tom Hulkenborg, yeah. amazing as always. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, great design so, work. I was, uh, I, I, I'm surprised. I was, I was surprised by how much more enjoyable of a film this was. Mm, the joy giver. But what do you guys think? Leave your thoughts down below. Is it better? Is it worse? Do you still not give a shit? Leave your <laughs> thoughts. Would love to hear them, especially on this one. Uh, be sure to subscribe and leave a like, and we will catch you soon. Reject Nation. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm.